What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Monster Legends. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a rank 3 review on the newest Maze Monster Spectre. So, I have already fed her up to rank 3, level 132. And I have put, I've invested some pretty good runes on her, as you can see. And I'll first talk through the skill set. So... These two skills that I'm going to show you are must-have skills. One shot, one kill is her strongest skill, which buys pierce and then deals very heavy special damage to one enemy, which is insanely good. Then following fire is her only AoE skill, so you really need that. And then these other two skills you could use, but I would say Deathstroke is almost a must-have, but zero cooldown, zero stamina, and it's not that weak. And then Firebolt, you could potentially use Bullseye or Trickshot over it, but I use, but I only equipped it just because it'll help with, let's just say if you're fighting a nature monster, you have the elemental advantage, and also it applies burn, which could come in handy if they get a turn and then they could die with burning if you didn't finish them off with the original attack. So, calling the weak and mark the target are only set up skills for your next turn, but really, that might not happen, because the enemy might deny you within then. So, I would say you could run these if you want to, but I don't recommend it. So now, for the relic, I'll quickly equip my best one. Um, I run a sword, and I like Kane's sword, just because... It can heal and it also does damage. And any um, amulet that can stamina that can stamina re regenerate, such as Taney's amulet, is really good. So I'll show you what it can do. So Taney's amulet is when the turn starts. If the worst stamina is below 50, gives stamina. It only gives 147 because it's at level 25. However, you might have it a lower level. But if you don't, any other amulet would be fine, such as a supercharged amulet that's gold, that increases your stamina. But if you don't have any um, amulet to help with stamina, then if you do get into legendary leagues where there's a lot of stamina draining relics, you could run into trouble. However, that would be where the Deathstroke skill comes in, with zero stamina, zero cooldown. And. If you did buy the Sensei Pandic and Legends Pass you, and done the Ever Saga, you would have got Unrenting Assault, which is the main skill talent. So I will first showcase her in. Oh, first I'll showcase Double Megaton and then Single Megaton. So I think my Megaton's on defense. Let's put a random monster in. So if you do have two Megatons, this would be a really good team. And I think if you have watched my um, PvP video, you will have seen me use this team. So we'll just do some regular battles and see how they go. I think this is a top team, but I don't know if they just forgot to s switch their defense because... This does not look like that good of a defense. And also, if you do get us to rank three, she has Pierce. So even though there's a Megaton there, you can just still Pierce through. And then this is why I like Firebolt, because you see it's weak, because it's magic against magic. I can just Firebolt, and then they're dead. Now I'll just apply burning. Okay, attack my own monster. I'll one shot one kill and then oh I don't think I got them below seventy-five. I think I might lose this battle. However, um, Kane's sword kicks in, which is one of the reasons why I like it. However, she can't hold a revival essence, so if she dies, 
then she doesn't come back unless you have someone who can revive teammates. So what is this? Unrenting assault. I think I'm gonna exit out of this battle. I'm gonna find a battle where I can showcase her. Now instead I'll just take the do off defense. I'll put him on because this is quite a good team. Okay, this is a pretty good showcase. So I'll just get rid of Megaton. And then if you have someone that can buffer with damage, and look, AoE 120,000 damage. However, that is with 42,000 power. On fire. And just a tip for people who ha do have Unrenting Assault, make sure that you attack a monster that's not going to die, because otherwise Unrenting Assault won't activate. Then I'll do it again, and then I don't think they can hold the Vival. So, I will try showcasing this calling the weak skill if you do want to run it okay what is this should be able to showcase this pretty easily um i'll just attack you then i'll just buff i think i will lose my megatons but that should not be a problem I'm going to try and kill this person because they're Pierce. And now they have vulnerable and guard down, so my attacks are even stronger. However, in most battles, if you are battling tough opponents, you would not want to run that. Just because they could um, kill you in that time. So if you can't deny them, then you could be dead. So. This is double Megaton Lindrum, which you can see a lot in the top leagues. However, um, <laughs> Lindrum is no match for me. Lindrum steady, probably resurrects. Yep, I'll just trigger anything assault. Then I'll do that. Okay. Kill. I'll do Colin the Weak. I think they might. Yep, Vulnerable. Just if, in case you don't know, um, Vulnerable does make torches 50% stronger as well. So you could partner it up with someone who can do torches, like Robo Elf or any other person that can apply torches. I um, think I could lose this battle. Just unrelenting assault is really hard to deal with. But I will try. Oh. Um, I think I could. I'll buff. But yeah, mega possession. Then. I killed my own teammate. Yeah, one one of her only weaknesses is her um, trait because she, apart from the Pierce, it is not that good. Pierce and True Vision, those are the, her only good traits because her other trait is like doesn't help her with denial skills because if you look, she can easily be denied. She doesn't have hardened or immune to control. I forgot to go over the stats, and the life stat that is an average. The strength and speed stats are the highest in the game. So even though she's an attacker, her strength and speed stat is really good. Okay, I think I'll lose this battle. I'll showcase her in a different team without unrelenting assault, because I know there will be players that don't have it. So I'll just put on, so if you don't have Unrelenting Assault, a good obscure talent would be Burning Hands. 
and I'll showcase her with who should I do it with I think I'll try I think he might be on defense yep master that I'll just equip something on him so this is a good team that you could do. You could set up for your attacker. I'll just put on that to regain stamina. Um, I need her to go before my master rat, so I will swap out team speed. Wait. And then team speed. This is where you could use the culling the weak skill. So what you can do, culling the weak, give them vulnerable, and then look at that damage output. So I'll just do this. Um think that Hardy's gonna kill me, so I'll just stun the and then I'll attack the Hardy. That burning hands killed them. Um, do that. And now, thanks to the vulnerable that I put on them with Pia, so I put it on everyone, I do a lot more damage. And also, that skill gives them negate healing, which means they can't be healed. Like, I just think, yep, growing flesh, that didn't do anything Sean Swift Ooh. I just took damage A fireball one shot one kill then I'll finish it I'll finish it off with fall and fire So overall I think she's a really good monster and she's used quite a lot because look, number one player, they're using her in defense. Second player, they're using her. Third player. Fourth player, they're using her on defense. So a lot of the top players are using her, especially with Unmoving Assault. However, if you don't have her, you could use her to set up for your other strong attacker or you could just use her as a strong attacker even without UA and yeah that is going to be it for today's video as always remember to like and subscribe turn that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads and I'll see you in the next video goodbye